Oh, hello boys and girls. I hope you're all doing good and that you enjoyed your bank holiday Monday off school Monday past. Well, Monday, bank holiday Monday is uh, in May is normally the steam engine rally down at Shane's Castle. And I always love going to that, but unfortunately wasn't able to be on this year because of pandemic. But hopefully next year, God willing, we can get down there and enjoy that great day out. Well, we into May and normally in June we have our Sunday school outing to Port Rush, but again we can't have that this year, unfortunately, because I always look forward to that and I think you do too. But perhaps come September when things are different, perhaps we can have some special outing. We'll let you know if anything comes out of that. Anyway, on with our online Sunday school today and what have we got? Well, we've got... Stephen and Ray on the singing, so sing out, and then we've got Yvine teaching us the Bible verse, and then Ray is telling us a story, and we're into the Old Testament stories in the month of May, looking at the life of Ruth, and also the life of Samuel, two very important people that we read of in the Old Testament. So listen up, join in, and enjoy Online Sunday School today. Afternoon, boys and girls. Uh, Sunday school time again. Online, it's great to see you and have you with us. And uh, we're going to start our, our online Sunday school with a couple of courses, as we always do. And this week it is our first one. Is there's a pathway? So the words are behind us here on the screen, and you follow along and help us as we sing. <clears throat> There's a pathway, precious pathway, revealed in the Bible. If we tread it, Jesus said it will lead us to God. So to glory I'm growing, why to others I'm showing. There's a Saviour worth knowing. Precious pathway revealed in the Bible. If we tread it, Jesus said it will lead us to God. So to glory I'm going, while to others I'm showing. There's a Saviour worth knowing. Brilliant. Now we're going to go to uh, My God is So Big, and that's quite a favourite one. Um, so strong and so mighty, and there's nothing my God cannot do. So again, join in as we sing this one, and Ray will keep us right for the action. <clears throat> my God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Thank you. Boys and girls, our memory verse for today is found in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And this verse is about trusting in the Lord and not leaning on your own thoughts to make your own decisions. So it's following on with the story that Ray will be telling you later on about Ruth and the trust that she had in God and the decision that she made whenever she turned back to Bethlehem and how that she didn't lean on her own thoughts or her own understanding but she trusted in God. So we'll try now and go through this verse, we'll repeat, we'll cut it in two halves so we'll do the first half first of all over three times and then the second half three times and then we'll go through the whole verse. Okay so one, two, trust in, in the, the Lord, Lord with, with all, all your heart. heart. And again, trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
and last time, trust, trust in, in the Lord, Lord with all your heart. And in the second half of the verse, and do not, not lean on, on your own understanding. understanding. And again, and, and do, do not lean on, on your own understanding. understanding. And the verse is found in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. So we'll try it all together then three times. One, two. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And once more, just trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Hello boys and girls, it's Sunday school time again. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all working hard at school and I hope you enjoy um, our online Sunday school and today we're going to do the story about Ruth. A long time ago in Bethlehem there was a famine. This meant there was no rain which meant there was no crops growing and then that meant they were running short of food. This was quite a serious situation. There was a man lived there, his name was Elimech and his wife Naomi, and they had two boys. Their sons were called Malon and Kilian. They decided that they would leave Bethlehem and go and find somewhere to live where there was more food. They decided to go to pack up and go to live in a nearby country called Moab. Now the Moabite people didn't worship the one true living God, but they made idols and worshipped many idols. Some time later, Emelech died. His two sons, Malon and Kilian, grew up and were there with their mother, Naomi, and they eventually married two Moabite women, Ruth and Orpah. Sadly, tragedy struck again. Ten years after the two sons had settled in Moab, Malon and Kilian both died. Now there were only Naomi and the two young wives left, Ruth and Orpah. How very sad Naomi would have felt to have had her husband and both sons die. And how very difficult it was for the two young women, Ruth and Orpah, to have their husbands die. Sometime later, Naomi heard that the Lord had provided food back in Bethlehem and that the famine was over. Naomi decided to return. The three widows packed up their belongings and set off for the journey to Bethlehem. Ruth and Orpah wanted to go with Naomi too. However, Naomi thought about her daughters-in-law leaving her their country of Moab and their families and their friends and she decided to tell Ruth and Orpah they should stay in Moab and go back to their own families. Naomi kissed them both goodbye and they cried. Ruth and Orpah wanted to go with Naomi too. Orpah then decided to return back home and kiss Naomi goodbye. Ruth however clung on to Naomi and would not leave her. This was a brave decision of Ruth's. She would be a stranger in Bethlehem and didn't know how things would work out. I'm going to read to you from the Bible what it was that Ruth said to Naomi. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee. In other words, don't make me. Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whether thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people and thy God, my God. Where thou diest will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. Ruth decided to start a new life among different people. She was also choosing to trust the living and true God, whom she had learned about through Naomi. Both Ruth and Naomi set off together for Bethlehem. 
Their arrival caused quite a stir. People hardly knew Naomi. She looked different because of all the grief and sadness that she had been through. We all have to make decisions each day. Sometimes they're small, sometimes they're big, sometimes they can affect our lives in the future, sometimes they can affect other people's lives. Decisions such as friends that we make, or maybe even people that will marry. Ruth made the very important decision to trust God when she decided to go back to Bethlehem. The Bible teaches us that God wants us all to trust in him, and this is the most important decision any of us will ever make. Christians also can learn from Ruth's example. The Bible teaches us that God made us and knows what is best for us. He wants us to trust him and let him work out his plans for our lives. Ruth didn't know what a great plan God had for her life. She was going to become a very important person in putting her trust in the living and true God. She had taken the first step in fulfilling God's plan. She could count on him showing her what the next step would be when the time came. So that's it for today. Tune in next Sunday to find out what the next step in God's plan for Ruth's life was. We'll have some questions now. Thank you for listening. Okay, boys and girls, it's question time now. Let's see how well you were listening. Number one is, why did Elimelech leave Bethlehem? Was it to go on holiday? Was it to visit his family? Or was it to escape the famine? Yes, it was to escape the famine. Well done. I'm sure you all got that right. Question number two. How many sons did he and Naomi have? Was it two, three, or four? Yes, it was two sons, Malon and Killian. Question number Okay, question number three. In the story, how many women set out to go back to Bethlehem? Two, three, or four? Yes, it was three. Well done. It was Naomi and her two daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpah. Question number four. Who continued to Bethlehem with Naomi? Was it Orpah or was it Ruth? Yes, Ruth continued. She wanted to keep going with Naomi and go back to Bethlehem and Orpah decided to go back to her family. And then we have question number five what was the best part of Ruth's decision was it that she trusted in the living God was it that she wanted to live with Naomi and that she refused to go turn back to Moab well these were all good decisions but the very best decision was that she trusted in the living God well done I hope you enjoyed all of that thank you Thank you, Ray, for that great story, and also Avian for teaching us the verse, and Stephen for helping out on the singing. I hope you enjoyed it. And the story of Ruth is so good, so important, and the big, big decision that she made in her life that changed the whole course of her life and her eternity on that day on that road from Moab to Bethlehem. And we can have that day in our lives whenever we make that big decision to trust the Lord Jesus for our sake, for. Uh, for ourselves and uh, boys and girls and mums and dads can do that perhaps even today that would be wonderful so thanks for listening uh, we'll be around with our uh, activity fun packs for may uh, today or shortly so look out for that and uh, take your uh, bible time lessons and follow along and complete them where you can they go along with our bible stories each sunday and uh, trust the lord will bless that so let's pray and be quiet just for a moment while we pray to god Father, we thank you for online Sunday school. Thank you for the stories in the Bible, not only in the New Testament, but also in the Old Testament and the story we've learned about Ruth and Naomi and Orpah and all of the things that happened to them and um, 
Father, we know that many things can happen to us in life, things that we don't expect, things that we, that we never anticipated. But Father, you're there all the same through all of the hard times and the, and the high times in life. And Father, we remember Ruth and Father, the great blessing that came to her. She didn't come from knowing anything about God or anything about the, the Old Testament. But Father, she committed herself uh, to thee in trust. And Father, that is blessed her as we'll find out next week. So Father, we thank you for um, today and bless all our boys and girls of Sunday school, mums and dads, grannies and granddads. We pray a blessing as we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves